You're um, getting like water on your sofa. Shit. Right. Uh, I should change. Um. Be right back. Just need to go upstairs and put on something dry. Johnny cakes, actually. I used to skip school sometimes and make them with my grandma. And they're made with real Johnny? <laughs> you are so annoying. No, they are not. And they go best with mulberry jam. Oh no. I've only got grape. Then I guess you'll have to make it up to me. Alternate Max's life seems so uncomplicated. Unless that's also a shape-shifted Safi. Nah, Safi can't cook. On this side, the memories are shut up where they belong. So much I want to ask Safi about. I don't even know where to start. Security footage of someone who looks like me. Dealing with students. So, hey, sport. You're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? The shit Robbie says I told him, it, it, it makes me sick to think about. Me and Sophie just outed each other. What now? Whatever we say tonight could change everything between us. I don't know if I'm ready for that. evidence box to this timeline to avoid Alderman, but never thought I'd have to keep it from Sophie too. There's so much we don't know about each other. So, you're what a shapeshifter. You You've have got powers? powers? Here. 
person with the bottle cap has to answer a question. Huh. You clever little minx, you. <laughs> hmm. Deal. Let's play. How exactly do you shape shift? It's got something to do with perception. Manipulating how others see me and hear me. Like right now, I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me. And if I nudge it... Wow. Yup. Still creepy. Are the teens using creepy to mean awesome nowadays? Whoa. It's like she walked across my brain for a second. So, are you like that girl in Frozen? Ice powers and musical numbers? No. There's a world parallel to this one that I can access. I am um, switched that world's icy lake with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? It's the same as this one. Except... I killed you. Or I... will. What the fuck are you talking about? At some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh, unless I can figure out why and find a way to change things in the present. Let's come back to this. Give me the bottle cap. Can you turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. Trying to guess who I've been? Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. That was you impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Not like she didn't deserve it. Your book deal. When I got the news, it was canceled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. Hell, I started to think you were in on it, too. That's why I came tonight. To see what you were hiding. Why didn't you tell me you knew Gwen killed it?
I wanted to wait till I got more information. You've got my number, Max. <laughs> we could have shared intel. Seriously, Max, I thought you were covering for Gwen. I thought I couldn't trust you anymore. But actually, I was just trying to prevent your murder in another timeline. Yeah, that's <laughs> honestly a relief. <sighs> Did you change into Lucas and ruin things with his son? I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. I gave him a chance to come clean. He didn't. Robbie had nothing to do with his dad's shitty actions, though. I weighed how best to hurt Lucas. Robbie was the only way. I don't know. So, that was actually you trying to get into Vin's phone. Mmm. If anyone deserves an acting award, it's me. I thought he was just trying to get rid of anything tying him to the cow skull fiasco. So that was him. Guess he's still not over me. Nothing says take me back like vandalism. Kids don't spray paint their names in hearts anymore. You know, I hung out with Vin last night. We, um... We got drunk and played Smasher Pass. Oh, please tell me you smashed me, Max. It was in the timeline where you're gone. And smashing the dead is considered gauche. There was a moment talking to Amanda today that felt a little... different. Look, you were snooping around. I needed to know why. It was... self-defense. We can forget about this time, but... Can you not do that again? It's... Amanda. Yeah, okay. Fair. <laughs> I guess I should let you ask me something now. <sighs> My mom, she can wait. So, you said something about traveling back to a moment? Can you clarify? The truth is, in my teens, I could rewind time. Shit. Time travel too? You really white privilege into all the cool powers. You'd think so, but rewinding was... too easy to abuse. Knowing you can undo anything makes choice seem irrelevant. Oh, the things I would undo. The bad sex I would unhave, the amazing sex I'd rehab. <laughs> Until you learn that to move forward, 
You can only choose one path. And you have to live with it. My turn again, huh? <laughs> How long have you had your power? Uh, since high school? Right after dad left. Mom was broken. And the way she dealt with being broken was to make sure I wasn't. That was a project. Proof that she didn't need him to do something right. That's a lot to put on a kid. Yeah, don't I know it. God, I remember wishing <laughs> so much I could just be the way she wanted me, magically, instead of struggling all the time and still falling short. Then... I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. Someone who didn't have to carry all that weight. Then, one day, I could. All right, so you used to time travel and now you can switch timelines? What... What changed? You know that blue-haired girl? That was my fault. She died. Shot and... Bleeding out on the floor of our high school bathroom. All alone. All alone except for me. The one person who could have helped her. Stuck powerless behind the stall a few feet away. Shit, Max. I saw the article in your memories box. You can't blame yourself for... My powers created a storm. Literally, I mean. And I had a choice. Save my town or save her. I chose Arcadia Bay. I didn't try to rewind again for years. Not until I got here. When other you died, I learned that my powers had changed. That I had. By the way, Moses on the other side gave me that bottle cap to give to you. Moses knows? Well, not everything. He knows about me and you being alive. Not the shape changing, obviously. He told me to tell you to stay safe. I'm trying. I should probably tell you about Maya. Maya Okada was my best friend. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> she was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. What Lucas did to her, stealing her work, it essentially killed her. 
And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> My silence catapulted Lucas fucking Colmenero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. You said you were mad at everyone about it. Still am. Including Gwen? Gwen was the one who said to put my anger into poetry. That poetry became All the Daughters We Don't Talk About. Your book. Yep. And at the 11th hour, she got cold feet. Vin's statement. Bingo. You were supposed to be Maya's friend. But Caledon said jump. At least I have the humanity to regret asking how high. Does that include your mom? She told me to tell Maya to keep quiet and she protected Lucas. We've talked it through a little since then. I don't hold it against her. Not really. I'm hazy on the connection between all this and your book. Every piece in that collection was about Maya. Or about what happened to her. Guess I told it a little too clearly. And when Gwen showed her true colors and pulled the plug on the book, I had to find some other path to vindication. Gwen, Lucas, Ben, your revenge tour. My justice tour. Safi, what if, what if that justice tour goes wrong? What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... What? This photo? That I don't remember taking? Dude, do you even own a gun? No, but... Great! Don't buy a gun. Problem solved. I don't understand how you can be so chill about this. I don't understand how you could be such a bummer about it. Max, we have fucking superpowers. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? Yes. Well then, let's make sure you don't have to. But Sophie, we can't just cross our fingers. We have to do something. What do you propose? Lucas. Justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. The book is... You aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. When you tried to expose him before, you were alone. Now there's two of us. We've got powers, and we've got proof. Krampus on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And he'll be expecting a mock trial. He won't be expecting us. 
Want to nail a smug asshole to the wall? I've never wanted anything more. I'm here at Krampus, but shit. I'm still reeling. Safi has powers. She can literally nudge people's brains to see what she wants them to see. And Lucas, you can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. But after tonight, everyone will know what he did. And Maya will get the justice she deserves. Okay, some of these decorations scream not safe for work. It's Krampus. Every year it gets even more like a Halloween rager. It's spooky. <laughs> I like it. Everyone should end the year this way. Your idea of a fun outing involves condemned buildings. Of course you'd like it. <laughs> Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No. The plan is when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out their toothless slideshow with mine. Spend all day on it. It's got all the evidence I have of what Lucas did to Maya. We'll play it while he's on stage, in front of everyone. What's wrong? Just promise me we'll nail him this time. I can't promise, but you have me, other Moses, and two powers between us. That's a lot in our favor. It's kind of bullshit it takes that much to tell the truth. So, how do we pull this off? Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when Lucas gets mad. I'll see how Reggie's feeling. Next up, Ben. He's the MC tonight. So we'll need his help. Think you can talk him into it? Ben and I have history. And that leaves Gwen. Be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do. But I doubt she'd listen to me. I'll talk to her. Great. Let me know when you're done. Enjoy the party! <laughs> Operation Expose Lucas is a go. I like that it leans. Gives it character. Energy drinks and alcohol. What could go wrong? Hey. Just the troublemaker I wanted to see. Me? Really? Figured I ought to tell you how this whole saga turned out. Lord fired my ass. Oh, Gwen. I'm so sorry. So is... Is that what you came over here for? Safi has a plan to tell the truth about Lucas's book during the roast. It would be a lot more credible 
if someone from the faculty backed us up. You know, when I first took this gig, I was always trying so hard to make a difference. And now I know that I can't. Not here, anyway. If I've got any fight left, I'm not spending it on this place. I hope you two get him, but I didn't sign up to confront anybody tonight. Hey, I... I totally get that. I'll still miss you. I can't picture this place without you. We'll see each other again. I don't intend to slip that easily into obscurity. I hope whatever you do, it's so successful you can rub it in everyone's face later. I'll miss that optimism. Hey! Long time no assassin team up. Tim, my literally stuff. Classy. It just feels like it's been a really long time. Hey, bitch, young man. And have you Say cheese, Krampus. Trust me, Lucas. We're gonna roast you until only ashes are left. Uh, are you, you still running? running? Did your assassin get you? <sighs> did it fit him better? I somehow managed to survive. So, this is the projector. Looks expensive. Hey, Reggie. You manning the projector tonight? <laughs> Babysitting, more like. The school only agreed to let us use Olga here if someone kept an eye on her at all times. Oof, not what you had planned for Krampus. Reggie, how would you feel about... <laughs> letting someone else worry about the projector tonight? Yeah, right. It'll be on me if something goes wrong. This thing is probably worth more than my whole tuition. So, so ma'am, uh, please, gonna need you a few steps back. Yes, sir. Okay, Reggie's not going to cut it. But if something went wrong with that projector, and Moses was the only one who could fix it... But how can I make sure I only break it in a way that this Moses can fix? I love what you've done with the place. Can't wait to take all this shit down. Abraxas' idea of holiday decor does not line up with mine. I'm surprised you let them do anything. You're kind of a control freak. I am not. It's just my bar. <laughs> Whatever, shoo, go enjoy the party. So bossy. Ow, why do you need his advice? Part of the same grad cohort? I care what he thinks. And please don't. Yeah, no. I should change the framing. Outside academia. Can't you just interrupt his card game? Are you kidding? I'm the art prankster. Really? Oh, yeah? I should let Moses have a little more time with Diamond before I drag him into things. Sorry, Amanda. This place is going to be a mess by the end of the night. Sorry. Moses insisted on being here tonight to support us. 
even though he won't see any of it. Hey, Moses. How's your first Krampus? It's the oddest shit I've ever seen in my life, which is saying something. I usually hate parties, but Krampus is always fun. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Did you guys figure out a plan? Yes, we did, but it's already falling apart. We require Mozai assistance. I need to get other Reggie to let other Moses control the projector instead. Okay. I was thinking if something went wrong with it. So it's gotta go wrong in a way that's right for me to fix it. Exactly. Do you know which projector it is? Reggie called it Olga? Olga can be particular. If he goes to the other side and listen, I can walk you through jamming it from here. You might be better at my powers than me. Probably. <laughs> Come back and let me know if it works, okay? I will. Better get into position. I don't want to miss Moses' instructions. I just don't understand. Everything was going so well. <gasps> was it the roses? We shouldn't have gone with roses. I knew it. Oh, God. That's adorable. No, I told you. Over quick! Whoa, did you steal that thing? I'm borrowing him. Um, why? He told me he wanted a selfie. I'd ask Mr. Krampus for another photo, but we've got more important things to worry about right now. Ready for the school year to be over? Damn. This year has felt like a string of endless Mondays. You'll be here? I'll be in and out. Don't have too much fun. Just one. Hate it when that happens. I used to love this game. Not exactly the right age group for this crowd. Coffee shop? It's not. Hey guys. Max. Hey. Uh, not to be a downer, but things aren't looking good for you, Diamond. That's because I am playing the long game. You know there's only two more rounds, right? This game is impossible. I'm gonna check out more of the party. See you guys. Snake legs for us. Words of encouragement? Or contender for worst pickup line? <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like Krampus. Yeah, no, I should change the framing. Whoa! 
I need Reggie's eyes off that projector long enough for me to get my hands on it. Huh. They're chummy. Maybe Diamond can help me out. <laughs> Safi's as subtle as a flying brick. Heavy is the head that wears the Krampus horns. Reggie's officially distracted. I should be good to go now. I hope Moses is ready on the other side to give me instructions. I'm not touching anything until I hear from other Moses. Maybe Reggie did see her and she had to talk to him? Okay, how long did that take? Max, you there? Man, this feels silly. If you're there, okay, start let's by see what Moses has to say. It should be on the right side. You mean there are more controls? Okay, this is kinda like a camera. Kinda. Hey, something I recognize. Not sure how tilting it would help. Oh, yeah. I'll make Lucas' slideshow look all orangey. That'll teach him. This thing runs like a well... calibrated 
projector. I don't think even Reggie would need help to turn this back on. I try to avoid big red buttons as a general rule. You're kind of like a spy. Do you feel like a spy? Oh, Moses. Okay, Max, you back? If yes, switch the focus mode to manual. If no, I... If no, I'm not really sure. Just keep talking to myself, I guess. So far, so good. What's my next step? Shouldn't take too long, right? Click one switch. Yeah. Max, next, make sure the focus dial is turned all the way to the left. Still needs to be a little more to the left. This looks like it's in the right spot. I'm giving you an extra second or two. You probably turn the knob all the way to the right at first by mistake. Hey. All right, Max. Final step. Just hit calibrate. After a few seconds, you should hear the motor stick. I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry, Elda. Sorry, Reggie. This is one omelet we have to make. No, 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 shit. Oh, what is happening, oh god? This one first, then you can play that one. And then a red card, right? You got it. This has to be the nerdiest picture I've taken all year. Hey again. Hey, Moses. I need a favor. I think Reggie's on the brink of ruining school property. Oh, it's Olga. Everyone thinks she's finicky, but she's just... Rain check? Sure. Duty calls. Hey, Reggie, I found help. I, I, I don't know what happened. One minute she's fine, and the next she's yelling at me like she's my mom. <laughs> There's your problem. The focusing motor is stuck. <laughs> Maybe take the night off, Reggie. I think Moses has it from here. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, Max. You sure? Yeah, this is Krampus we're talking about. We need a pro. You need a pro to press next on the projector? Everything has to be perfect for the roast. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> Thanks, Moses. You saved my life. <laughs> you're being all maxi. What's afoot? Me and Sophie are hijacking the roast tonight. We need your help to run this slideshow instead. We have good reason. You'll see. 
All right. I trust you. I should talk to the other Moses. It worked. Other you is in place and ready to go. Nice. Where'd you get this house? Aren't they from the party? Amanda saved me a kid. She knew Safi and I really got into it last year. Last piece. Oh, damn. Chimney broke. <sighs> I wonder how it tastes. I bet I can find an extra chimney on the other side. Just... Just hang on. I should talk to Safi and get the roast going. Yo, cool pin. Wow, I'm a celebrity. Look at that. Perfectly intact chimney. I've done everything I can. Let's get this roast going. I should let Sophie know everything's ready. Can I borrow Sophie for a sec? What's up? So, Other Moses is also making a gingerbread house? Aww. Is he? Yeah. But his chimney broke. You mind if I take yours? How's he doing? Like, really? He seems really lonely right now. Because I'm gone? Moses is the only one I do this for. <sighs> this was a doozy to make. I love it. How are the discussions about our issues on campus going so far? Much better than expected. It being finals week means a lot of our colleagues are rightfully cantankerous. That's great. That's what we want. Voila. Guess who it's from. It's... for real? From the other side, from... Safi? Thank you, Max. You're welcome.
We're ready to go. Is he... Part of your merry band? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I wasn't able to convince Gwen. Figures. Don't worry about it. We've got bigger problems. Why? What's going on? Lucas is about to call the whole thing off. He's out on the patio freaking out. He's supposed to announce his movie deal tonight. I guess he's worried it's too good to be true. Okay, so what do we do? Better be quick. Guy's two ticks away from calling an Uber. Fuck. I'm gonna go stall him. You figure something out, Max. Good luck. What's she doing? Is that Safi? Yup. <laughs> That's definitely Safi. I better go back up. Safi, out on the patio. That would have distracted me too. Reggie never gave me a puzzle box in this reality. So, uh, remind me what the plan is again, Alexa? That's with you teeny tiny. Here. Sunk! <laughs> Drink up, baby! How are you so good at this? Where I grew up, there was nothing to do but drink and set shit on fire. You strip poker next? You're a menace to society. Ah, huh. that Finn chose Smash too. On second thought, maybe? Uncanny how much Safi looks like Loretta here. I'll be quick. How did you find success after years of mediocrity? Loretta? I've talked about this in my workshops, Loretta. Don't you remember? You don't have to be good to be successful just persist excuse me it's been years since water beast was published have you settled for an early retirement come on loretta you can't rush the process lucas has a vision that requires time to perfect. Yes. Very well said, Max. Thank you. Besides, there's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh, really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast, you can be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh... Yeah, that's right. Sure. Nice work. Loretta. 
Thanks for your time, Professor. For a moment there, it almost seemed like you were trying to insult me. No. Of course not. Well... Anyway... You trying to get on my good side again? I don't like fighting with my colleagues. What are you doing in academia, Max? I'll let you in. I almost called off the event before you got here. You? On your big night? <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, he'd tell me to man up and get in there. <laughs> he was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. <sighs> Come on then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. Roberto Colmenero. Great job, partner. Although, I thought you were gonna puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Ew, what the fuck? Why? It belonged to his father. Sophie, this is bad. Oh, Jesus, Max. You might shoot me, Lucas might shoot me. America has a problem. Give it to me. I'll take care of it. Thanks. It's time for the Krampus Roast! <laughs> Let's welcome our guest of honor. Professor Lucas Colmanero. Fair warning. He's gonna say a few words before we start. So I hope everyone's already halfway to wasted. <laughs> no hard feelings, bro. Thanks, Vin. I uh I wanted to announce some surprising news. No. My world renowned book. Wilder beasts than these. Wait. That's not right. Uh, who... What is this? Not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. The beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I had always been the beast. <laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist. Am I right? What do we all think? Woo! What? Maya was a good writer. Thanks, everyone. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. So, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft? Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page? For real? Yes, 
for real. But you already know that. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? This is slander. Every one of this man's accolades belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. I can't believe this. That's why the one book. You were right. It's working. How did he get away with this? You don't know what you're talking about. Try me. All right, all right, let's rein this in. <laughs> now, we wouldn't want this roast to end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> uh, continue, please. As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine who tragically took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as, as a cudgel, beyond disrespectful. Maya believed in my work. She believed in me. I knew this would fucking happen. What, what are you doing? I'm changing it to Ven. I'll make Lucas fess up myself. Sophie, wait. Really this is your chance to tell everyone God. your side. Shouldn't you go up hey, there as yourself? Where are you serious it? right now? Right. If speaking of my course. truth worked, we wouldn't it's be here. I am serious. Superpowers aren't the answer to every problem. I would know. With the rest of Caledon. Fuck. As of next year, Wilder BCDs All right. will be adapted into a feature Trust you. Film. We have to get in this time, Max. So, this is Vin's turf, not castles, mine. Friends. Make my day. Do you really think I should go up there as myself? You can do this. Honesty is not my strong suit. Here we go. Safi. Did you forget that I was actually there? That at one point we were all friends? You, me, and Maya? I trusted you. Was that all a lie too? You're trying to turn me into this monster. I watched you tour the country, win awards for the work you stole from her. I watched her beg you to stop. I watched you kill her. Now you expect me to watch you profit off her grave? Yeah, and what about you? If what I did was really so bad, you would have said something back then. You didn't. I was a child. What was your excuse? And what young Safi here doesn't understand is it... It wasn't stealing. Authors frequently take... Uh, inspiration from one another. I was going to give her credit, but then she... Think about what I was going through at that time. My divorce, my son, this. This is absurd. They listened to me. Just me. Of course they did. You're you.
You don't know how much this means to me, Max. I'm just happy to share this moment with you. Okay, enough. Let's celebrate! Hey! <laughs> we need to talk. Alone. And before you say, fuck off, you'll want to hear this. Relax. I'm the one packing, remember? I'll be fine. Wait for me. I'll be over with Moses when you're ready. Lucas and Safi? That can't be good. Oh, I should let other Moses know how it went. Hey, Amanda. Guess this is what you've been so distracted by. To be honest, I don't like that part of you that keeps yourself hidden from me. I don't want to. I want to tell you everything. But you can't. Not now, at least. Could you maybe give me some time? I know what I want. I'm not always patient when I do. But I'll try. For you. Because you're so cute. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> that was wild. So that's why you needed Moses, huh? Yeah. Man. The fact that Lucas was the department chair after doing that to a student really creeps me out, you know? I really do. Let's forget about Lucas for the rest of the night and get hammered. <laughs> Sounds great. Wait, I want to update the other Moses first. I want to leave him hanging. A true team effort. We got him. What I would have given to see it. How is Safi? Surprised, I think. She's not used to people listening to her and believing her. You should get back. She need you. Us. She knows you're still here for her, too. made my entire year. Mine too. So that's what you two were planning this whole time. Wait, where's Safi? Where's Safi? Safi wanted the truth, so I gave it to her. All of it. You don't even know what the fuck you just did, do you? What was that about? 
my head. It, it was what? my book! I can't, I can't, I can't believe you. Believe I can't. you do this! You lied to me. You lied, you lied to, to me. me. You lied, you lied to, to me. me. You lied to me. Sophie. You lied to me. 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 are getting worse. Can you hear me? You look sick. Mom. Does Safi know this is happening? Why don't you? Mom? Safi's with Yasmin. Oh, shit. You've never cared about anyone but yourself. No, no you don't. You only care what I do for you, and your reputation, and your legacy. If you actually named your shits about me, you would actually listen to me. Or God forbid, let me make my own mistakes. I trusted you. You're my mother. I'm supposed to be able to trust you. Whatever's happening here, it looks like it was happening in that world, too. Come up here and look down at the school. This reminds me of... No, never mind. Come up here and look down at the school. It's a long way down, isn't it? I need to know where she is. Please. Oh, no. No. You're seriously telling me you don't hear that? I'm sorry, Maya. It's all gone so wrong. Dude, you are freaking me out. Wait for me.
Unforgivable. Almost there. Hold on, both of you. Sophia, please. I was trying to say you were trying to protect me. Say it one more time. I fucking dare you. Sophie, don't do Stay this. Stay back! Both of you. Listen to me. Something's happening to your powers. You're losing control. All this time I've been trying to get justice and she's the one who's been getting in the way. Not Gwen, my own fucking mother. It was you? You canceled her book deal? The book was just her latest twisted fuckery. She's been doing this for years, since I was a kid. You deserve better than what I <laughs> hear. Sophie, remember what I told you about Arcadia Bay? About the storm? It's happening again! If we don't do something, the whole town's gonna be destroyed. And you don't want that on you. Trust me. Max, she kept me from seeing my dad. And she made me think it was his idea. How fucked up is that? You don't understand. This world can be so cruel. How's this for cruel? The only time in my entire life that you were controlling me was when I wasn't even me! Happy oh. Oh. oh my god. Do you think you are? I'm your mother. One day you will understand. Shut up! I've done everything for you. Shut up! Stop it! 